Hey everyone, this is Oliver. About eight years ago, I found out about the law of attraction. It never worked for me and I was very frustrated. And then about two years ago, I found out how it really works. And then I literally could manifest all my dreams like traveling the world, manifesting my dream partner, which I'm very proud of, multiple six figures in my dream career and much more. In this video, I share with you where I was like two years ago before I really made the law of attraction work for me, what has changed in these two years and what was kind of the missing piece that brought everything to work. But that's what I found out. And then literally it was like a switch in my mind and everything started falling into place. So about two years ago, I felt like very, very unsure about what I want to do. And I was not really happy in my relationship. There was a big thing. And I was constantly having limiting beliefs. And I talk about the limiting beliefs because most of us, we know exactly what we want, but we have limiting beliefs that are stopping us from getting there. And also other blockages. And unless we don't remove these blockages, we will never get there. So I always was thinking about, you know, I, I need to think positive. I need to do more vision boards. I need to, you know, clarify my vision and focus more on my vision, meditate more, visualize all these things. And don't understand me wrong. These things work, but it didn't work for me because something was off. Something was just like blocking me. Since I was focused on all these things, like in the secret, I learned you just have to think positive and everything starts to happen, right? Just focus your thoughts on positive things, things that you want, on gratitude, all these things. And believe me, I tried, but still I had no results. I mean, some things manifested, but not really as I wanted. And later, when I really figured out how it works, everything changed. And it's so freeing to know how the law of attraction really works in a practical way because you hear so much noise out there and everybody talking about certain techniques. But let me tell you, I'm here to make the law of attraction more practical because it, it is a practical thing. Most people just overcomplicate it. And a lot of people, you want to have the quick fix. So that's what they are promoting to you. But there is actually a quick fix. It's not easy because most people just don't know where is this fix because it's a blind spot and that's the struggle. Two years ago, I was very insecure. I didn't know what to do with my life. I didn't have the self-confidence to really get the relationship that I want. So I wanted to also manifest my dream partner. Back then I didn't know exactly who there was. And let me tell you, I went through some pain. So it was not an easy path, but today I really manifested my specific person and I already saw her or I knew that she exists a few months ago. Um, already last year actually she didn't really know that I'm existing but I manifested her and now we are together and also traveling the world which was a really cool thing I was so afraid of leaving Switzerland because everything is so safe here literally every time I was thinking about it I got scared and that's another thing like a very important thing you need to remember my mom for example when she thinks about doing something she thinks about all the things like the little steps she has to do to get there and then she's paralyzed and blocked. And that was the exact same thing for me too. When I was thinking about manifesting my dream partner, I was blocked because I was thinking about all the small steps that I needed to do in order to get there. So one of the things that was holding me back was fear. And fear is a big thing because as long as you fear something, you attract it actually. You attract not what you want, but you attract what you fear. What you resist persists. And that's a universal law. But sometimes we think, that we are thinking about what we want. And I give you an example here. And I want you to use that for yourself because maybe you see that you yourself have the same issues. And I want you to become aware of this issue. So let's give an example of person A and person B. Person A thinks about the 20,000, like, yeah, she wants to make, she wants to make 20,000 a month and travel the world and is really excited. Person B, same thing, 20K a month, traveling the world, but the problem here is whenever person B thinks about this lifestyle and the 20K, she starts doubting and she becomes fearful. She's like, what if it doesn't work? Am I good enough? Do I really have the skills that it takes to get there? Yeah, what, does it, what, what if it doesn't work? Do I need to get a job? Will I land on the streets? Won't, maybe I won't be able to pay, pay my bills. But person B is not really aware of these thoughts. And person B is sitting every morning you know, meditating and visualizing the 20K. But for some reason, she doesn't feel so good. But she's not aware of it because they say, just think positive, right? So she tries to force it. 
person A thinks about the 20k and the dream lifestyle traveling the world and is really excited. Every time she thinks about it, she gets a burst of energy. She gets a burst of motivation and she wants to do more. She gets new ideas. She's like, oh, I could do this and this too. I could reach out to this person. And, and she's just like in a flow. She's in a flow state. Person B, the exact opposite. When she thinks about it, she gets kind of like low. She loses motivation. She starts doubting and she feels paralyzed. She procrastinates. Some people ask me like, why do I procrastinate so much? The reason is because you probably focus on the wrong thing. Because like we want, we all want to achieve this big vision. We want to make as much money as possible. But the problem is, as long as you don't believe that you can get it, you won't get it. Because what you actually focus on then, if you don't believe you can get the 20K, whatever your dream is, even if it's your SP, your dream partner, a specific person, maybe it's vibrant health, losing weight, traveling the world, being free, being happy. But some of you, you want to use the law of attraction to get stuff. But the manifestation works exactly as well for just feeling good, like being incredibly happy, waking up in the morning excited for your day. That's a manifestation and I think most of us don't live like this. Back to the story. She thinks about it, she's feeling low and the reason for that is because she doesn't believe she can get it. And even though she's still focused on the 20k a month and the traveling lifestyle, she has a vision board. You know, with all the places she wants to visit and the kind of apartment she wants to live in and just the life that she wants to live, right? So she focuses, she focuses on her dream, on her desire, on her vision. But the problem is, since she doesn't fully believe she can get it, she starts doubting and she feels just negative. And what you then actually attract is the exact opposite of what you want. You attract what you focus on. And it's not meant like, you know, 20, if you focus on 20K, you get the 20K. No, it's like, what does the 20K or the dream lifestyle, the dream partner, bring up in you? And that was, that was the turning point for me. When I realized that, I could finally let go of the affirmation and I didn't feel guilty that I didn't do my affirmations. Or the vision board or the visualization. But that's not the point. Like sometimes we forget. We forget it's not about the thing itself. It's what the thing brings up in us. That's what we will manifest. And again, if the 20K and the dream lifestyle and the traveling the world brings up in you negative feeling, feelings, you attract something back to you with the same kind of vibration. And sometimes we think that if you think about a car crash, we will manifest the car crash. That's also not how it works, right? So sometimes we're even, uh, even afraid of our negative thoughts. That's also something I let go a long time ago. What you manifest is the vibration, the feeling, and you don't know exactly what comes into your life. But if you feel negative in any way, something negative comes back to you. And not immediately because we can be actually grateful for that, that the manifestation doesn't you know, work like this because otherwise we would have a bunch of stuff we don't want and maybe oh yeah, also some good things but probably also a lot of not so good things. right? So it's a process. It's like the more energy you put into something, the bigger it becomes and on one point it comes into your reality. That's how it works, right? And so also with the negative stuff, you don't need to fear negative feelings or negative thoughts. But if you are in a certain vibration over a long period of time and you give it more and more energy, then it will manifest on one point. And it's the same thing if you focus on the 20K and the travel lifestyle, this amazing life that you want to live, this dream life, this big house, this car, but it brings up negative feelings in you it will attract bad stuff into your life. So you ask me what to do, what should you do? It's very simple. If you feel bad focusing on whatever you want to manifest, stop doing it immediately. Immediately, I'm serious. <laughs> because it won't come. The only way for it to come into your life is if you focus on it and you feel amazing. It gives you energy, right? Because then you know you're aligned. Your belief is aligned with what you want. And what then? Like, let's say you don't feel good thinking about what you want. And I know a lot of you, you want to manifest your SP. And the problem there is like, the more you attach to something, the more negative feelings can come up because you want it to work exactly the way you want, right? That's a problem because you are not as intelligent as the universe. You think it's that person. You think it needs to come like through that way. 
but you don't know the universe knows right the universe is the universe's job is to give you what you want in the way that is best for you you don't know the how right you don't know but when we are obsessed with something very strongly and we have strong attachment to it we usually don't attract it because it brings up negative feelings right we are like we start doubting basically so a little summary so what did you learn today i want you to be very clear of that i could talk so much about it i made lots of other videos if you check my youtube channel but what you learn today is basically it's not about what you focus on it's about what that thing that you focus on brings up in you that's what it really is about it's about vibrations about your frequency and if you don't have anything that you can focus on where you really feel good you still can focus on something which is feeling good feeling better because the secret is feeling and so much so many of us we forget that we think that if we get that thing that person then we're gonna be happy but that's reverse this is not how it works you're already doomed to fail because how it really works is like I want that thing the person and I feel already right now as if I already have that and you need to live like that so when you feel really really good you will attract good stuff if you think about something specific and you feel really good about that thing you're gonna attract that specific thing and some of us we have we, we struggle focusing on something specific and there are a lot of people out there that tell you you need to be super clear on what you want it's true the clearer you are about something the better you can manifest it but what they don't tell you is that if you don't have clarity if you don't know exactly what you want you need to become more general because that also releases resistance and pressure and resistance and pressure will attract negative things so it actually what I learned the biggest thing is become brutally honest with yourself stop pretending because you cannot pretend the universe your higher self or God or however you want to call it knows exactly in what kind of frequency you are in so you have to become again you have to become humble you have to accept yourself exactly where you're at and you have to from the standpoint you're in right now with everything you know you don't know that you feel that you don't feel you need to fully accept yourself and from that standpoint be very honest what can I believe right now that I can achieve from all these things and the key word is belief this is the key word so if you don't believe in something it doesn't make sense to focus on it because it will just make more harm and there are ways how you can increase your belief you don't stop there there are ways to increase your belief but you have to start there right you have to start where you're at and focus on things that you believe you can get it's really that simple as I said my mission is to make the law of attraction very practical and simple because because it is and I learned that through experience when I first found out about the law of attraction through the secret movie it sounded very simple but somehow it just didn't work because nobody told me that if you focus on things that you want but you feel bad about them that you won't get them that you will actually attract bad stuff because I had like I had my dream books my vision board and I was looking at all those cars and then thoughts creeped in like I need to have like a lot of money I need a million is not even enough five million is not even enough I would probably need like 20 50 million for that and that brought up doubt especially back then when I had no money and no idea what to do I didn't even know what business to start what I knew though was that I want to be an entrepreneur I don't want to get a job right I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur and do something that I love but this is all I knew I didn't know exactly what was what it was that I love and again that's exactly where I was and the longest process was actually me just accepting myself and aligning with who I am and start from here not trying to be already there and compare myself with others that was the biggest work actually I lost so much time just thinking about I should be further or, or I should already know what business to choose but I can tell you from experience now as well 
that if you go with life and you trust life, you release the resistance and the pressure and you accept yourself fully, you fully embrace who you are right now and where you're at and you focus on the things that bring up excitement, that bring up joy, that bring up a warm feeling in you. If you focus on these things, good things will come, I promise. That's exactly what happened to me. I always wanted to find my passion, always wanted to find what I love. I always wanted to be an entrepreneur and be free. But it happened in the timeline it needed to happen. I didn't know exactly what the timeline was. But I trusted and when I released resistance, it started coming. We can get to success so much faster if we would just release the resistance. And instead of trying to manifest stuff that we don't believe in, because that's literally wasting time. You waste your energy and your time. We should rather focus on the things that we can believe in because then you also build confidence and you actually raise your belief. Because you start small, you start focusing on things that you can believe in, that you, can mani that you believe you can manifest, and then you build momentum. You know, more confidence, more belief in yourself, more belief in the law of attraction, and also then you get this confidence that you can tell yourself like, I'm a master manifester, I can manifest things. Whatever I do, it works out. Whatever I wish, if I put my mind to it, I can manifest it. You know, that's how you will start talking to yourself naturally, right? And then these affirmations will be backed up by your reality. But let's say if you have all these affirmations and you say, tell yourself these things, by the way, I have nothing against affirmations. Affirmations are great, but they're used in, in the wrong way oftentimes. You think they are just like some kind of magic trick, but they're not. They are support, like a supplement, right? If you work out, you take some supplements, but you cannot stop eating healthy food or get enough protein, right? They are, not, they are just a supplement. They're not the, the food itself. And it's the same with the affirmation. They are a support. But you still need to develop the self-awareness and become super honest to yourself that you can recognize what is real for you. What can you believe in and what can you not believe in right now? And it's completely fine. Put the things that you cannot believe in on the side. Focus on the things that you can believe in. And then f manifest these things one by one. And then you get more and more confidence. I hope that helps, guys. This is a big video because I think there's so much, so many misconceptions around manifestation. Right? As I heard, I saw a comment that he thought that I said that you should just wish and you know, just sit on the couch and wish about, like wish these things that you want and not do anything. But nobody ever said that. When you use the law of attraction, you keep going on with your life. You just focus on things that make you feel good so that you're actually a better version of yourself in the here and now. And then funny things happen, but then suddenly like you feel better. You connect better to other people everything just becomes better and then suddenly you see more opportunities and you know one thing leads to the next and that, that's what happened to me i let go of the resistance nothing worked out i finally started painting and then i found my true passion my true talent and it was a long journey because i had so much resistance i always tried to figure out what i want with my mind but the moment i let go and i did something for myself which was art it was the first thing that i didn't want to earn money from I just did it for myself to feel better again the secret is feeling so art was for me just to heal myself to feel better and then the universe brought me someone that bought my first painting for 600 Swiss francs which is like 750 USD maybe and it's a guy that my mom met at the bus station I've never sold an art piece before and I just started painting and I actually painted this painting when I was 16 and he bought it for 750 USD or 700 USD. And there was a breakthrough because I realized now I'm aligned. Now I'm aligned with who I really am and I don't have resistance anymore. I'm not thinking about making millions. I'm not thinking about creating another business that you know needs to make money and that needs to work. No, I just did something for, for myself and the universe told me you're on the right path. Long story short, I created a multi six figure business from my art traveling the world experience amazing things and that's one of my artworks by the way i love gold for abundance as also funny i made i sold an abundance painting for 24k usd 24k and that's what i put out i put out i put out with my art abundance and that's what came back to me but it needed to be real so i hope the video helps write down in the comments if you have any questions 
come into my free Manifest Your Dreams community and we can talk more. I can see how I support you. And as well, if you want a consultation, you can book a consultation down below too. It's a one hour call where we deep dive into your current struggles and see how I can help you to release these blockages that are holding you back from manifesting your dream life. But I hope this video already helped you a lot. So we'll talk soon. Peace.